feel naked walking into a situation like this without a few tons of ship wrapped around me. It'll all be good. Just act cool and follow my lead. Mr. Alec, you were not expected. Are you flirting with me again, Marianne? Me and my associate here would like a word with the boss. Something not, not ex expected. She's crazy about me, really. No, get down! Damn it! What are you guys doing? Stop it! Daryl! Give me that remote! You idiot! Alec, you okay? All good, boss. Who the hell is this guy? This is Adam, boss. I brought him in for a chat. He wanted to ask a favor. A favor? You guys are giving me nothing but headaches today. Get inside, all of you! Now let's figure out what's going on, in a civilized manner. Daryl, why the hell did you do this to Alec and his associate? Cause they've been nothing but a pain in the ass. We barely made it out of that spider cave alive. You owe me for that. Hey, yeah, me too. Yeah. Why did you do that without even asking me? The, the guy's been sniffing around after Maddox. Yeah, and who are you exactly? You should know Maddox is under my protection. I just wanted to talk to him. I'm not a bounty hunter, just a friend of a friend. Uh-huh. And you know Alec how, exactly? Oh, me and Adam go way back, before we even met, boss. He's a hotshot pilot. i never seen anything like him. Is that so? But I'm still not too impressed by your imposition into my business. We should just phase him. Shut up! I have to apologize for my nephew. He's still learning the ropes of the business. Saki? Well, really, Daryl should be apologizing for himself. Daryl! I'm sorry I sent you guys to your certain deaths, okay? See? All's good and better now. For every problem, there's a lesser problem with a sort of solution, right? Anyway, you guys interrupted my meal with all your antics. These two guys have been at each other's throats since... The short furry one showed up. I don't think there's anything I can do to reconcile them. Ty liked the little guy, but Daryl is family. I'm gonna have to find a way to separate them. So, rather than taking the crude and uncultured path of violence, I'd like to make you a little proposition. I can arrange a meeting with Maddox, but I need you to do a little job for me in return. Do you savvy? As long as it's quick. And something a little more sensitive. You need to take the little furry guy off my hands, too. I understand. Don't worry. I can get him out of your hair. He's not so bad. Hey, I know that. I'm just trying to find amicable solutions. That's my job. But you do understand that there are consequences. If you disappoint me. Likewise. All right. I like this guy's style. What do you know? A real kindred spirit knows his stuff. This time I'll be giving the delivery orders, so there'll be no funny business. Right, Daryl? Right, boss. Okay, so this is the deal. You deliver a little package for me from A to B, and I'll let you know where to find Maddox. So it's a smuggling run. 
Ooh, now that's one nasty word. Better not let the Okar hear it. They're quite touchy about uncertified cargo moving in and out of their territory. Touchy to a degree, where they just shoot anyone who tries to pass through Smuggler's Wheel and ask questions later. So I recommend getting yourself a distraction for them. I've been told I make a great distraction. That you do, Alec. That you do. Oh, I'm gonna miss having you around. What do you mean? I'll explain later. So where do we start? Meet my contact at the black market in the underbelly. They'll fill you in on the rest. It was a blast having you. Bye-bye, Alec.